welcome back to my channel so this is a vlog I'm doing because I'm not doing a video so I've decided to kind of do it like in a vlog style um, basically it's gonna be like an update about the parasite cleanse that I had I've now finished the parasite cleanse which was called para pro I'm just gonna show you guys the tub um, so I got 180 capsules in this and I took four capsules a day so two capsules twice a day and at first I experienced all these kind of different symptoms and you know I was I wasn't ever skeptical about this I just always had really really high hopes for this um, so you know the parasite cleanse is supposed to cleanse your body of parasites it's supposed to detox your body and overall help your um, immune system your colon um, your health and whilst um, doing the parasite cleanse it's very good to try and practice practice a well balanced diet so um so this is like an update and i finished the parasite cleanse as i've just said and i feel like it's brilliant like it's really helped me in a lot of ways um my skin was really really bad before the parasite cleanse and i was breaking out really badly with hormonal acne and the hormonal acne were under the surface bumps so they were like spots and bumps that would come under the surface um so they weren't like white heads or like pimples they were more like under the surface bumps and blackheads which oh my lighting's gone funny which, um, what's going on? Yeah, which was obviously like really annoying. Um, and that's literally gone completely. Another thing that I use to help with hormonal um, breakouts is maca root. Um, you can get this in a powder. Um, like you can't really get the, um, the root in the country that I'm in, which is um, the UK. But yeah, the maca root is really, really good for hormonal breakouts and stuff like that it's really good for women and pe uh, women that suffer with fertility issues and stuff and like women that are going through menopause and stuff so it's really good for females um so i take that for my hormonal acne and i'll just put like a powder uh, i'll put like a tablespoon of the maca powder into like my cereal in the morning so i have like porridge um but yeah back to the power pro what else can i say um it's helped with with my IBS because I had irritable bowel syndrome and I didn't really know how um, I didn't really know I had it until like I was just in so much pain and I was just sitting on the toilet in pain I had constipation and I had like so much like problems with my bowels and stuff which I didn't even I don't know it just kind of like sprung it was kind of like sprung up on me and um yeah like it's literally got rid of that so that's completely gone yeah so that's gone so my irritable bowel syndrome has gone i no longer have constipation um Another thing that I'm taking for like constipation issues or undigested food issues is chia seeds and linseed and you can get it in the powder form or the seed form. At the moment I'm using the seed form and you put like it in a cup with water and it turns into like a jelly kind of um, consistency and that's really good for your colon and your overall system because it helps you know your food just like slide through a lot easier which is obviously great so I've been taking that chia seeds linseeds, seeds like in the morning so I take it like before I have my porridge or sometimes I just put it in my porridge as well as the maca sometimes I put hemp seeds in my porridge as well and pumpkin seeds also because pumpkin seeds are really good for um parasites another thing that's really good for parasites is berries um blackberries especially I try and eat like um I try and eat blackberries a few times a week, three or four times a week maybe. They're really expensive, 
but um, I try and eat them as often as I can because some fruits my body just doesn't really agree with like I don't know why but that's for another video but uh, remember I was saying I was taking my lysine um, I kind of stopped taking the lysine like, I know it was said to be really good for skin but I just didn't keep up with it um, but I think I did nearly 30 days maybe I done like 25 days and it really did help with my skin like the improvement the elast ele ele elasticity because it helps with collagen but it helps with acne as well um and another thing that I've stopped doing is eating really late so I try and eat as much as I can in the day and I kind of stop eating at six or seven and I make sure that I'm really really full and I'm not hungry again and literally that's worked perfect for me because when I eat before I go to bed or snack or if I eat like at 10 and I go to bed at 11 my food only has like one hour to digest until I like go lay down and go to bed and my food just can't digest when I'm laying down and when I'm sleeping so I'll wake up with like a really bad stomach ache and it's just like the undigested food and then that will cause the constipation and my body just can't you know break down the food in it um quick enough or like the acids in my stomach can't do the job um quick enough so there's there's extra measures i have to go through to prevent this so like eating earlier not snacking at night not snacking crisp like i had to cut that out there's a lot of things that unfortunately had to cut out um wheat i've had to cut out um eggs i've cut out um milk i've cut out for ages but since i haven't had any bread eggs and wheat like i found a big improvement in my skin like my forehead nothing my cheeks are fine i've got like a little bit of breakouts here but i think that was because i stayed over someone's house and the pillow slips um i don't think they were very clean unfortunately so i think that's why i've got that on one side and it depends on the kind of acne because i know what kind of spots like if i get like a um a pimple like a white head i know that it's because of something that um has touched my skin so something i've um like either touched my face or i've laid on something but if it's like a black head or like an under the surface bump or something i know it's internally so it's something to do with my digestive system um if any of you guys want the face map chart like because i've got a few of them in my phone it shows you um each part of your face where you develop acne and um why it develops so like the cheek area it could be something to do with your stomach and then your forehead is hormonal down here is hormonal hormonal and then there's other parts that's related to your heart your lungs um and so so on and so so forth so if any, anyone wants <clears throat> the chart i can send it to you via email instagram or whatever um, but yeah, like you guys wanted an update about the parasite cleanse and I think it's great I do feel like it's cleansed my body. I feel like it's helped tremendously with my skin It's helped my um Irritable bowel syndrome. I no longer have irritable bowel syndrome or constipation um, My skin is just a lot clearer even my whole body is a lot clearer. My skin's a lot more hydrated And on the cleanse I was drinking one and a half litres of water a day i've tried to do like two liters some days but it doesn't always work out like that it doesn't always work out that way but um now i've finished the cleanse i'm still gonna be taking one and a half or drinking one and a half liters of water a day and i am gonna do another cleanse because on the organic olivia olivia website um, a lot of people said that after they done the cleanse, they waited a few weeks and they've done it again. And they waited a few weeks and they've done it again. And remember, I have never had a cleanse in my life, so I think that is 
perfect for me to do and the lady organic olivia herself she actually done the same thing she suffered from a lot of the things that i was suffering from like ibs acne unexplanatory stuff that like allergies and stuff and a lot of them have now gone um so i am gonna order this cleanse again even though it's so so expensive i am gonna invest in it because investing in my skin is very important and investing in my health is very important um i'm gonna just show you guys a few products that i've re recently purchased because i don't know when i'm gonna upload a video again but um i've recently purchased two um facial skincare products and I only bought them because they're neem and I know neem is natural and is antibacterial, antimicrobial. It's not like the, the potent full neem. It's obviously combined into a face wash and a face scrub. So I bought the face wash and face scrub. That's the face scrub and it's by Batika. I know they do um, hair care, that brand, because I've got like a, a hair mask or yeah, a hair mask from them. Um, and this is the face wash so this one's called purifying face wash and the other one is called purifying face scrub um, and it's new new products that I've been trying recently they're soap free and paraben free with a hundred percent natural active whatever that means but I only purchased them because they're neem and I know neem is really good for the skin and since I've been using them, it's literally made such a difference. I've also um, purchased like a spot treatment as well, if anyone wants to know what that that is. I'm still using some Mario Badescu products. I still use the Mario Badescu drying lotion, if any of you guys are interested in knowing what that is. But I've changed to like a Himalaya, like overall face, um, acne face and pimple cream and it's really helped um so if you guys want to know my skincare routine or anything just let me know and i think i've covered everything um yeah so if you guys want to know anything else about the products i'm taking my diet the things i eat um the things i don't eat anymore um just let me know and i hope you guys are well and thanks for watching my video and i'll see you in my next one bye